German World War II Enigma machine. It has three rotors to do the encryption and a plug board. The Germans would set up the Enigma every day by putting different rotors in the machine, replugging the plug board, and there's a few other things, all of which would be listed on the key list. The code clerk for the day comes in and does the daily setting. So he's going to change the rotors to set it to any setting that he wants. They're numbered 1 to 26 and then he can start typing his message. When you type a letter, the electricity moves through the machine. First it goes through the plug board, and I'm typing the letter K, so K might be plugged into, oh, I don't know, in this case maybe a J, and then it would go, it go into the first rotor, and it changes at that position, and every time it hits a rotor, it changes. When it gets to the reflector, it comes back through the three rotors and back through the plug board. It can encipher as many as nine times before your cipher letter lights up. So in this case, I'm typing K, my cipher letter is a P. When I type it again, I get a completely different cipher letter because the rotor moved one position and that changes the wiring pathway that the electricity moves through. The Germans believed this machine was unbreakable because there are so many possible combinations. Unfortunately for them, they didn't realize that Poland had figured the machine out before the war even started.